I'm here with Where's My Bible, the wall band. Hello, Reija, hello, Tunde. So, we are eating pizza, so it's uh, it's amazing to do an episode of Metal Pizza, eating pizza. So, it's the first time, but maybe we for someone else is going to happen. So, first of all, uh, what did you guys uh, order? Do you remember what's on your pizza? I really don't remember. It's There's a salmon and a cream fries and some onion. Some red onion. Yeah, red yeah. onion. I think we have with Tony uh, pepperoni and some nuda. And uh, nuda? Rucola. <laughs> Simple. Diabola. Diabola also, yeah. yeah. And I have a simple margarita because it's the right way to taste a pizza. That's a classic. That's, true, yeah. That's a classic. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You cannot go wrong with that. So, how are you doing? Pretty well. Tonight is a show here in Pori and we got some pizza soon. So, everything is kind of pretty well. And Tepu, you eat the pizza this morning and yesterday and now. <laughs> yes. So, you are the pizza master I here. I full of pizza. But actually, this pizza tastes pretty good. And That's tomorrow good. Teppo is eating pizza again. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Okay, so you are uh, a pizza lover. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of pizza. Not in a bad way, <laughs> <laughs> only in a good way. <laughs> but uh, let's talk about uh, your last album, Cave. So, yeah. what can you tell about uh, the songs uh, on this album? Oh, um, <laughs> oh there is a... Uh, a lot, a lot of stories to tell about those songs. Tell about the main idea. Main idea is uh, the album. Uh, it's a, like a shamanistic circle, and the story in it it starts from when the sun is going down and the night begins, and the night time in uh, Finnish and uh, Scandic mythology is a time where the beasts are coming. So, middle of that album, there is a uh, middle night and the full moon, and Kave is uh, or Kaves are creators that create the moon, only light in the dark, and uh, that's kind of thing there that in the darkness there is also light if you are uh, enabling yourself to see those lights and. Uh, after night, there begins a new morning, and this, in this story, um, the morning isn't a good thing because there's something what you have been uh, escaping for, and uh, you, uh, usually you, when the morning comes, you're like, a, oh my God, the morning is here, the light is here, but in this story, the morning is like a hellfire. And the monsters are visible at then at that point. Okay. Shortly. It's, it's basically a concept album. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because it's a story. The whole album is one story. Yeah. yeah. And uh, um, musically wise, uh, talking about instrument wise, uh, how was the the process uh, in writing the songs? So was. It was it that the, the lyrics were before, or was the melody or the rhythm? Uh, how does it work? Um, the songs came first. Yes. And uh, mainly, after, mainly first. Yeah, mainly yeah. And uh, but you uh, you should also have some ideas uh, what you want to write, so it uh, also inspired the yeah. writing process. And uh, it was really fun project when we got more songs to came and I started to think about where in album which songs could be fitted because I will write the story like there's a night and a middle, middle night and a morning coming so we have to think where to put each song to fit that story. Where did, where did you um, record the album? Home. 
we got uh, basically, really basically home, yes. Yeah, we got really um, time settle was like horrible, okay. and we had to make everything like in our homes and fuzzy mix that. Yeah. We thought that we had a we had to hurry. Yeah. But yeah. Then, yeah. <laughs> but then when we we got the album ready, there was no hurry at all. So. But yeah, it was efficient. We yeah. tried to book studio, drum studio, to Inca studio where also Pussy worked, but it was full book, of course. So we decided to make drum studio in my basement where we also okay. tried to rehearse. So, so for like low space, mm, yeah. but we made it. Yeah. yeah. Wait. Now let's talk about the tour, and I want to ask you about your tour in South America that you did last year. So, what story do you want to share with us about the tour? How was it? Uh, how the people were reacting to you? Tony got sick. <laughs> yeah, I got in, sick. In Brazil. Yes. Was but, in Brazil. Uh, yeah. I think it was first in the Peru. Mm -hmm. But. Uh, it, it was only the last kick I didn't yeah. make it. I almost made it, but I didn't make it. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, that's, it that's, was that long. Yeah, and I think that's cool, cool story because we got that kind of situation there, mm. and we did must go to the show without our other guitar. And yeah. at the same time, we went pretty worried about how, how Tony is feeling and uh, mm. stuff like that, but. Still, we could make that um, show be good as it can be with yeah. our guitar. Yeah, it was Other a really kidder. good show. Yeah. 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 And maybe, I, I'm thinking that maybe we should get rid of Tony. <laughs> <laughs> it was so good, it was so good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Tony, uh, you're fired. Okay. <laughs> where, where do we need him, him anymore? I know, guys. <laughs> so I have expected this. It has been so... <laughs> Nice to know you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> but it was also a good test for the band that we can survive yes. without. Yeah, we, we can. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. And it, it was like like pretty intense because we were waiting for Tony to come to play the show like yeah, in the last last, last minutes. Yeah. And it, it was like 10 minutes before the show that we heard that he, he's not coming. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <So> okay, <laughs> let's go. Yeah, and we, we did made that it. sound check. Like, yeah, I, I uh, checked uh, both guitars on the sound check. And okay. It was weird but fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you get some flu or what was the? Uh, some kind of bacteria. Yeah, okay. some kind of bacteria. Did you find out was, that it was, it was a bacteria? Yeah. Yeah. There or when you came back to Finland? No, uh, yeah, there in Brazil. And um, uh, it was very good uh, hospital when I uh, when I did go, and uh, everything go well there. But uh, I just couldn't make it. <laughs> yeah, and you told that those uh, workers in the hospital were like, uh, "Oh, you play in a band? So cool!" Yeah, <laughs> and Finland, and from Finland, yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> Yeah, they were very nice. Yeah. How was the food there? Amazing, mm, really yeah, amazing. Yeah. So, what what was the uh, your favorite thing that you eat there, and from which of those countries? That's was? really hard one. I must say the Argentine. Argentinian. Yeah. 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 First we came there, they there. were uh, very hungry. Yeah. <laughs> we get those first ste steaks. I but think that was the best. Yeah. From my opinion, one of the best meals was that last meal on the beach in Brazil. It was that chicken with uh, mashed potatoes and stuff like that. That was mm. really amazing. And uh, the pizza in Brazil was super good. Okay. And also in Peru, the chicken. I yeah. think they only ate like chicken. What the fuck? But I started to cook the same kind of chicken after that at home. But it was delicious. What kind of chicken they do? It's hard to tell, like, whole of chicken, but it was so uh, tasteful. I can say more about that, but it was just super good. There were some herbs on the chicken. Uh, what? There were some herbs. Uh, herbs. 
Yeah, and su super nice marinades. Okay. Mm, but only with fries. So mm. super simple. Yeah. But the mm. taste, was, taste was like mind blowing. Yeah. Any fun story about the tour? Except that Tony you, were, you, you, you were sick, <laughs> yeah. okay? We know that. <laughs> yeah, everybody laughed in the room. <laughs> So that was a miracle that only one got sick. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. we were eating in many different places and traveling a lot. So it was and drinking something that maybe we shouldn't have drink drunk, but well <laughs> it happened. Yeah, yeah. I think maybe mm, another funny story was the second show in Argentina. When we got in the place we were going to play and we saw the drum kit there. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It was like a nightmare and we was like, a, we cannot play the show tonight if the drum kit is like that. Because yeah. it was a... Mm, how to... It was, it, it was like a high school drum kit. <laughs> but, but even worse. Even yeah. worse. <laughs> yeah. And um, what happened after? Did you get a better drum uh, kit? Or? The headliner, Ratos de Porao. They let me use their, yeah. their gear, like also the other gigs with them. And, uh, but it was the same show on every evening, like there was this part of the drums and where is my drums? Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and that stage manager was high as fuck in there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow. And in the middle of that, uh, putting our things in there, he, he was like, a, yeah, wait a minute. <laughs> I was like, what the hell he's going to do? Soon he's so, so stoned that he cannot do anything. Yeah. There, <laughs> everything went after that really well and the show was one of the best shows in, the, in South America. I think it's because of the weed. <laughs> <laughs> Must be. Yeah. But now let's get back to the origin of uh, Where's My Bible. So, I'm not going to ask uh, how the band started and so, but I want to know how did you know each other? So, how did you met uh, and uh, when did you get in the band? Uh, how, how was the process? Um, at the very first beginning, me and Pasi have been known each other for long time. <laughs> Yeah, really long time. Too long time. Too long time. <laughs> and uh, we started to make Where's My Bible music as a fun project back then. And after that we been, we went and the uh, Finnish metal festival, Numero. And we saw Tony there. He was screaming like, hey, no la! <laughs> <laughs> like, Wait a minute, who's that guy? We started to... Uh, Hanger out there, but after that, Tony meet us, us at the gym and asked, Do you know any plants in here in Heinola who need some guitarist? And I was like, Maybe I will know sometime. <laughs> and, uh, that was the beginning of the band. But and that was the first time we get our now in my office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you played my uh, first demo. Yeah. And after that, uh, I don't remember where you find Jarno. No, you first, no, first we uh, played out with three and Zino. Yeah. And uh, after that, I get Jarno from uh, my uh, how you say it? From my wife, brother, wife have <laughs> <laughs> have Jarno <laughs> at the work and. She said that uh, I know one bassist. Oh. And then we, I called to Jarno, and uh, I think I called Jarno at Saturday. Yeah, it was. Uh, and the Sunday <laughs> there will be our first rehearsals, and he just came there and uh, everything was totally fine. Yeah, clicking. <laughs> and uh, Tino was the first drummer of Where's My Bible, but name wasn't Where's My Bible at that time. What name was? It, we didn't have a name at yeah. that no. point. You were no name band. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And a uh, few moments after that, Tino said that he don't have a time enough for the band. Yeah, uh, it was the time when, when we started to think about it. Uh, maybe we should uh, try to make more uh, serious in mm -hmm. this yeah. thing. So, 
then you know, whatever you start to think about it, you don't have the time to yeah. do it. And then after that, uh, our familiar friend Antti Jokinen came to play some drums and that. When he got time that he don't have time off to us <laughs> anymore. After that we had uh, Kalle for one year or two. I don't know. Maybe one year. Remember. Yeah. <coughs> and uh, then Teppo uh, came in couple shows to replace Kalle. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, and then you fall in love. Yeah. <laughs> yeah actually, yeah. <laughs> actually, I fall in love of the guys. I remember I was like stuntman for the videos. I think after, after movie uh, video recordings, I said to Tony like, or asked like, do you still trying to find a drummer? I might be interested yeah. because you have super nice concept. The Circle EP, great songs, great guys. So I said like, do you want me? And here we are. Yeah, and after that, Jarno passed out. And then Tony got some cool phone call to the <laughs> cool bass phone. player who skiing a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck's sake! <laughs> yeah, I was I was skiing when Tony called me, and he was like, "Oh yeah, really nice. I I, I, I like to do some sports too, and I, I'm mostly." Most of the time I'm the driver for the yeah. shows and I don't drink that much. I, yes, I'm not drinking also and <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, same, same, I was so wrong. Same here, same here. <laughs> <laughs> but he was wrong. Yeah, I was totally wrong. But I'm still here. Yeah, and the best, be, uh, the first rehearsals mm. was so amazing because at the when usually you got one new member to rehearsals, it feels everyone feels. A little bit nervous awkward, or, yeah, or something yeah, yeah. like that, but in the very very first moment yeah, with Juho, it didn't feel like that. It was like a uh, our it, chemistry hit yeah, it really was well, really relaxed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Except for me, <laughs> <laughs> I, was sit, I was sitting in my pants, but I have I can keep my cool. <laughs> yeah, you, you had the poker face. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was first rehearsals, and after that, we uh, immediately ask, uh, "Okay, um, are you gonna join the band? Okay, yeah. yes. Okay, okay. Uh, are you gonna go with us to, to um, Latin America? Okay, yes. Okay. <laughs> no, there's <laughs> one. This one thing. <laughs> yes. Money. <laughs> yes, money. Yeah. Yes. But um, everything's go very well, and uh, he's here. Here we are. Yeah, here, here we, we are. are yes. Yeah. So and we, are, also, we are really happy about it. So we also get our. Pretty rich bass player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm paying everything. <laughs> <laughs> so you are paying all there. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. You have that's, that's, like that's, nice that's a lot. Yeah. You, you had a yeah. contract. Yeah. You pay everything. You are in the band. You can play. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> it feels so relaxed to play with you. <laughs> What do you do beside uh, music? Uh, what's your uh, day job? I know you are a photographer, you work in the studio, studio yeah. but uh, what do you guys do? I'm working at the um, uh, culture office at Heinola. That's my day job. Okay. What do you do there? Uh, I'm doing, uh, I'm producer, one of the producers. Uh, we're doing uh, Heinola Kesäteatteri. Okay. And uh, Heinola Segura, and lots of things. What's what's happening in in Events. Heinola? Events, yes. yeah. 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 I work in the forestry. Okay. So I'm, I'm planning planning what the forest machines are doing. So yeah. you are summoning in the booth. Uh, I yeah. do. I drive some forklifter, and we are sending animal food around Finland, okay. so it's kind of, what's the word, not ca not caress, but, damn, I forgot the word. word. <laughs> it doesn't matter. But it's yeah. stor storage. <laughs> yeah, storage. Yeah, storage. Yeah. Okay. And do you like your day job, or is something that you do because <laughs> you have to do something? I have something to say about <laughs> my job. I have a free time. So free working time, so 
I basically can do anything I want and they just pay me my salary. So it's it's quite a good job for having a music hobby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because a uh, music hobby requires time yeah. and money. And money, so it's <laughs> it's perfect, yeah. I love my job. <laughs> yep, yeah, it's best. Not my dream job. <laughs> but maybe one day the dream job, yeah, job is Yeah, it coming. will come. This is just a one case. Yeah. Yeah. But you like to model because uh, you have a lot of uh, photos of you modeling, like yeah, yeah. Dance, for example. Yeah, and so, yeah. so this is your hobby yeah. in your full time. Yeah. How uh, often do you model? Um, it's uh, really hard to say. It's kind of couple times in a year. Do you get least. any money from uh, by so far not. But not yet. Not yet. Maybe someday. Work in progress. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I want to ask you a bit more about the photography and videography because yeah. you work also, you work also with bands. Yeah. Uh, you have uh, the, the video music video for bands mm. and uh, uh, promo photos. So, how is working with bands uh, uh, from the other side, not being in front of the lens? Actually, it was accident when I got my first camera. I never thought that I started to make anything with a camera. Okay. And I started to make a photos, and suddenly I take a photos of bands, portraits, and. I don't know why, but at the moment I also make music videos more than photos. <coughs> but it, it's kind of easy way because I work it as a technician, for example, Villa Laihela and other bands. So I know what happened on the stage or behind the stage or in front of the lens or behind the lens. So I know everything. Yeah, kind of. So, so it's more easy to yeah it, it's it's super natural to work with camera or events or so when did you start with photograph mm, for real like 2019 okay maybe. but so i think five I, years. I, I, almost yeah but i still remember the first photo when i take the first photo with a flash it was suddenly like oh my fucking god the shadows and lights this is what I want to do. Poetry. Yeah. Not poetry. Portraits. <laughs> sorry. Portraits. But portraits can be poetry. Yeah. yeah. But it, 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 it was so like powerful moment. Yeah. When you see, when you see everything without a camera, it's like yeah. too much light. But when you can control everything, lights and camera settings, it's like magical. Yeah, yeah. that's true. But uh, let's talk now about uh, metal music in general. <coughs> so, how did you get into metal music? When did you start to listen? How it happened? Who wants to start? I think I was uh, about uh, 30 years old, maybe. First, of course, Metallica. And, uh, 30 or 13? 13. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> 30. But uh, of course it was Metallica first, but it, it didn't have much time when I I found Timo Borger and Cradle of Field. Mm -hmm. These guys always laugh when I say this. <laughs> because, <laughs> no? Because they can hear it from my music. <laughs> yeah, and you say it a lot, lot of that. <laughs> yeah, a <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> lot of that. But yeah, and after that, of course, lots of melodic black metal and. Yeah, but it was, was it accidental that you find uh, those bands, or was some friend that? Uh, uh, it was my best friend's big brother. Okay, it's always someone's big brother. Yeah, yeah, and uh, it was first listening, and I was in love. <laughs> I was. Uh, I remember I was on a back seat of my sister's that time boyfriend boyfriend's car and he was playing Stratovarius in a car and I was like a 10 years old and was like holy fuck what this music is and I <laughs> got totally into it and after that I 
got myself a couple of CDs of Strata Warriors and that, after that came Metallica and uh, a couple of my friends at that time started to listen some rap music and <clears throat> I was like a, uh, listening to those Metallica and Stradivari things and was like this is so heavy but then I heard from one friend Children of Kudum and my couple friends left that guy to listen to that kind of satanic music and I was like a, in a corner but this sounds so good and I was so afraid to say that aloud at that point that I like like that kind of music but here we are <laughs> for me my mother about uh, for the name day Nimi Paiva uh, Metallica Swada Lightning I sat in front of the player and listening the whole album and my mother said to me like the tempo you have to go to school I didn't eat anything or drink coffee I just like whoa what the fuck is that I love that how old are you when this happened how old were you <laughs> nine ten super young but the first question of the before I went to the school in the in front of the door, I asked from my mother, like, do we have any heavier? My mother was like, what? <laughs> and after that, I got a Sepultura CDs and fell in love. Fell in love. Yep. Is your mother into metal music? No. Okay. <laughs> so Actually, it was random. Before she passed away, she loved, like, Roskasta Yolva, yeah. Nightwish, yeah. always, but not, not like, Nothing. heavy metal yeah. girl. Yeah. 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 Okay. Mm, I got my first guitar when I was 12 and in that time I had listened some with the Iron Maiden and uh, Guns N' Roses and stuff like that. But that time uh, the skateboarding was the uh, huge thing for me and we watched uh, lots of uh, skate movies and stuff like that and also uh, Jackass and uh, Seek. CKI movies and there uh, was some scene where uh, the music was Tim uh, Borges Puritania and that time we <laughs> and uh, that was the first step to the heavier music for me. Okay, is it my turn? Yes. Oh, I decided to speak more. Timo Borg, you love those synths and everything. Melodic black metal. Yes, yes. Okay, but thank you. Your turn. Thank you, Tony. I have to admit that the first CD that I bought was BOD. And I didn't know anything about the band. I just bought it from a cruise ship. Okay. It looked cool, I think so. I was like 10 or 11. And I got home and put, put it in the plane. So I was like, oh, what are those things like distortion guitars? And was this 2001, 2002? Somewhere there, yeah. Okay, I think so, yeah. So I must, okay, I must have been some like 13 or 14. Yeah. And after that, uh, I started to listen, of course, Iron Maiden, then came Stratovarius and Son of uh, In high school, I was. In the music class, so of course we formed a band, and someone has to be the bass player. So I learned to play Iron Maiden with my electric guitar. Like I was picking it with like a bass, <laughs> and then I, yeah, then I became also a bass player. So how do you all start to play music? So you told yeah, I already. <laughs> <laughs> Thirty years old, thirteen years old, yes. and, yeah. <laughs> and I got my first acoustic guitar. But and after that, the Red Squeer, and um, that's where I start to play. Maybe I was in fifty where I go to music Opisto and uh, play some blues. And uh, after that, I have played only only metal. <laughs> yeah, I had. Uh, Heard some Iron Maiden, and then I asked for my parents, Can I have a guitar for Christmas present? And then I got it. And the story goes on. <laughs> mm. 
I was competition swimmer. Nice. Yeah. Uh, but my swimming friend, friends, family, mother and father, my friend played guitar. But they say to my parents, like, you have to buy a friend for that pop. So my friend also get a like friends for to play with. So yeah, we are. Mm. Nice. Yeah. I think I've been trying to many instruments from the beginning, but any instrument haven't feel so my kind of my instrument. But I've been playing with my voice sense of a little child and uh, still love to play with my voice and uh, do weird stuff with that and uh, it's kind of when I heard Carnival Corpse I was like that's the thing what I'm going to do and I will be the very best of that and years go by and when I heard War Truna and all the instruments I was like uh, hearing first time that uh, Kravik Lure and I was like falling in love when I saw that instrument and heard and after that when I got my own instrument I was like uh, having one lost thing the back in me and I was like oh my god this is the world where I want to be so that's kind of shortly my story talking about music in general there is any uh, kind of music that you cannot stand, that uh, if someone is playing, uh, you are like, uh, oh gosh, no. <laughs> Actually, I don't have that kind of music. What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> what was the question? So, Do you hate any music? Yeah, is there, is there any music that uh, you can stand? I have to s I would say one thing about music in general, like, how you can say like you hate some music because for me it's like such, just emotion what you feel yeah. and if someone else feel another way how it could be wrong I just don't get it like if someone love love funky to school, someone have to say like I fucking hate the party. yeah that's that's, that's fucking mm. bullshit yeah. yeah yeah so no yeah yeah but it's some music that you are not listening to. Or are you listening to everything that, uh, that um, comes? For me, it's like a radio stage. Suomi pop. I kind of hate all that thing what they are playing in there. I got really kind of annoyed by that music. But it's not because of that music. It's more like uh, the overplaying. Yeah, and uh, kind of that what they are. Like, uh, uh, how to say it? People who listen to that kind of music is usually many times like uh, not caring about anybody else, or uh, if you can say it that, like that mm -hmm. way. It's so em that music is so empty, there's not like a soul in it. It's like a uh, singing all the time, like a uh, bling bling, I have a money and a uh, your seat and uh, let's party and not give a shit about anything and that's kind of not my cup of tea but I'm happy that someone can get some Something great, from yeah, yeah yeah but that's not my cup of tea and uh, I don't know what's in that music what got me a little angry or stuff like that right now. Because uh, uh, many always times a little angry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. but that's, that's, that's true. That's true. Yeah, no, no, no. I got really high emotions from music. Mm -hmm. It's like a, if something hits really hard, I I got hit by train like from it. Yeah. Or like when your bad mates are a little bit later. That's a different story. <laughs> hit by train. <laughs> But now let's go to the random topic. Normally I have my jar, but this is not my jar. I had to take with me something that is not too heavy. So who wants to pick uh, the, the first? Me, 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 me. Let's see what we are talking about. Series. Yeah, series. So 
Are you into series? Do you like to watch some series or uh, you don't watch at all? Uh, I'm a huge movie and series fan. Yeah, yeah. yes he is. Yeah. <laughs> so what's, what are you watching now, for example? For now I do not have a time to watch anything, <laughs> but... Um, Breaking Bad is a really good Vikings uh, three, the best. three first seasons. But uh, if you go to the, that kind of genre or stuff like that, the Norseman is a, one of the best. Uh, yeah, that's the best. It, yes, it's funny. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree. I just watched it, uh, Game of Thrones. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. I, I, I was pretty late, yes, yeah. but um, I think now I, it's done. <laughs> yeah. I think I don't have a really one favorite because there's so many great yeah. things in it. What's about you? What do you watch? Uh, what, what's your favorite, for example, that if there is. I can come from the Game of Thrones with Stony Side. I just watched the uh, second season of uh, House of the Dragons. It was super good. So much better than the first one, but I love Game of Thrones, uh, not Lord of the Three Rings, <laughs> all the fantasy. Yeah. Yeah, but I started again Game of Thrones, and it's still like what the fuck? Yeah. It's you so know, I, I have to admit that uh, I don't know mu much about Game of Thrones because uh, I didn't really watch it. I saw a few episodes, but uh, I don't. I don't know. I, why I didn't watch it, I don't know. It was the same for me like the first time when I tried to watch it. I watched like two episodes. What the fuck, this is like bullshit. After that I tried again and... Yeah, but I didn't even think that it was bullshit. I just... Uh, yep. some random... Not even the first three episodes, I don't know what episodes were. I just watched because they were on TV. But uh, I, I don't know why I didn't. I think uh, you have to give it time. Yeah, but I think that someday maybe, because for example, I don't have a specific uh, genre of series that I like. I just watch and uh, usually you don't get uh, uh, that the thing that you want to watch all the episodes from the first episode, mm -hmm. neither for the second, so you need to, to watch a bit more to get into it, not yeah. with all the series, but with you, and, um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, I don't know, I think that uh, lately I, I haven't watched anything, I just watch a random video on Facebook, <laughs> that's, that's how bad it is. So First thing when you go back to home at the evening, in the evening, you have to start Norseman. Norseman, I, wa I watch that. Again. Again. <laughs> and again. It's never, and again. It's never bad. And again. And it's again. never bad. What's about you guys? Uh, I like Black Mirror. Okay. Yeah, and it's good. It's yes. on my watch yeah, list. I haven't started yeah. it. It's an interesting series. And the uh, latest series I saw was uh, Griselda. That was okay. good. Yeah. <laughs> what about Pussy? Mm, no, I, uh, I have uh, watched it, uh, some anime. Uh, Attack on Titan. It's, it's, it's great. I can recommend it. More anime nerds. Yeah. I didn't. Uh, I, I haven't. Got any? Uh, how do you say? It? I'm not brave enough to say that to these guys that I have watched anime. So you can say anything. Yeah. Here okay. we go. <laughs> and so we good, goodbye. Also. They are not judging, <laughs> or maybe they actually, are. Actually, I love anime. <laughs> I, love anime. <laughs> I actually grew up uh, watching anime uh, in Italy. Of course, they are not like all the scene. Yeah. There are. Uh, all the harder and uh, if there is some sexual uh, part they cut off oh. because it's uh, <laughs> but uh, i don't know what's the real name of the anime 
but at four years old I was watching this anime that is not really supposed to be for ch children. I think most of animes are not, <laughs> but um, it was, uh, I would say, Oku Okuto no Ken. Was that Kenshiro? Is this a uh, guy that uh, go to? I, d I don't know. He just touch uh, the some trigger points and uh, the the other ex explode uh, <laughs> and everything. <laughs> yeah, and the flesh and blood. Uh, That's the best thing in anime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, you know, growing up watching anime, then you you have at, at least no, not everyone probably, but uh, I'm a dreamer, uh, so I was as as a kid always in my in my world and um, mm. then I was imagining to have some power and do incredible things saving people and uh, shit like this yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's important yeah. Yeah. yeah so that was uh, at school when the teacher was explaining important things mm. I was uh, okay, thinking yeah. about those uh, doing those uh, movies in my head <laughs> But yeah, this was the story about the animals. Okay. But there, there's a one anime which is best of the best. It's Ginga. Yeah. Silver Fang. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. It is, it is. But what was the Netflix new series where was this bold guy with the arrow? One Punch Man. Who you mean that? <laughs> that sounds like a porn movie. <laughs> <laughs> That's on Netflix. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool series, yeah. But it, you should it, watch it. It was super good. Yeah. It's fun, yeah. yeah. Let's get another one. Who's me, me. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't stole this one. Um, here. Here. Six of the six. Bear. You said what I am. So this, this, this is hair and... How is pronounced? Beard. Beard. Because I always beard, get, beard. get the wrong. Yeah. All right. So let's start with uh, with you two. How do you take <laughs> care? How much time do you spend to get uh, the shape? It depends if you have a bad master's day. It can take uh, <laughs> hours and hours, and uh, it's. Uh, Still, a completely disaster. Yeah, and then we suffer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yes. Because you don't, you cannot put hood on their mustache. But Is today a good or a bad mustache day? Today. Yeah. I'm not sure. <laughs> I think it's bad. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Bad. <laughs> but it's it usually uh, when I take that mustache wax, it don't take that kind of long time. It's like a if you rub it in your fingers and warming up that and uh, then you put that wax on your masters and put the shape on and, uh, yeah, yeah. and uh, then the, after that using that um, masters uh, what's the word comb comb yeah and uh, comb, yeah. something like that minutes maybe what's about uh, your routine <laughs> it's simple i go to the shower maybe a little bit butter, something more my throat <laughs> like yours because he's my biggest like um what is the word inspiration god. yeah god. inspiration god yeah god. God. so god. i also have yep. tried to bend my mustache so a little bit wax and but I don't have problems with hair, so it's <laughs> so much easier. So what wax are you using on your hair? Yeah. Yeah. Wrong one. Yeah. <laughs> wrong one. <laughs> you know, I don't have uh, any facial hair, so how hard is for men to take care of your facial hair? It's something that I cannot un understand it's because I don't me. have them. <laughs> <It's not growing. laughs> yeah. You only need a towel and I'm finished. Yes. I think if you like, maintain. maintain. If you maintain, it won't take too much time. But like me, I'm a little bit uh, lazy with my facial hair, hair. So like last night, yesterday, I got my beard like half hour, one hour. But if you maintain it, it's just like minutes. So it depends. And of course, like what kind of hair 
or beard uh, hair you have. I really would like to have big hair, big uh, beard, but uh, I only have this, and I, I can't I can't uh, grow it because it looks like someone has. Uh, Shoot you, shot you like with the shotgun, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that good. <laughs> so like me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but maybe I try someday. Shotgun maybe beer. Someday. Maybe someday. Maybe someday. Yes. Yeah. That can be a there's brand. There's time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had short hair uh, for up until 2019, and then we were in Japan, and one fan just made me grow hair. She said the same you, you have to grow long hair. I was like, okay. <laughs> so you did? Yeah. Actually, at the moment, you look a little bit like Japanese with your Yeah, I am. Actually, I'm half Japanese. No one can yeah. see. <laughs> 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 Hello, Ray. Hello, <laughs> Ray. Hello, So, okay. how do you take care of your air? Because, uh, you know, it's it's always fun to think that uh, metalheads most of metalheads have uh, those long hair and uh, always beautiful and sometimes not. I don't really care I just wash them with something <laughs> nothing particular so it's uh, it's um, interesting to know do you take care of your hair if yes how and for you do you use <laughs> so, so do I you can go to the sound check <laughs> no no do, do you use shampoo or do you use a uh, normal soap uh, for beard I use like beard uh, shampoo but for my head and all other stuff parts I use just like uh, soap yeah. too much information <laughs> <laughs> You ask it. <laughs> I use shampoo and uh, hair mask. Okay. Yeah. So you take still, more care than uh, like than, what I, uh, than what I do. Yeah. I'm really bad in taking okay. care of my hair. <laughs> Yesterday I was sure that I put some color. Sometimes I had like four color. I had my natural. I had some green because of the when I go to, to the uh, swimming hall. Yeah. <laughs> And then other, cause I, I don't know, it was a, like terrible. And then I should die. Then I was, let's let's do this for for once without waiting two months more and have air that looks so. Uh, but it's working for you, so all yeah. good. Yeah, <laughs> most of my days they are like in a ponytail or mm -hmm, some, yeah. some same here, wrap, same wrap here. there, yeah. and just in the morning. I, I, I really bad. I, I'm not good in that. And I, I'm eating, uh, I don't know what was it, those vitamins, uh, what is help you to get your hair better. I don't remember what is. Yeah. I, I really, I, I should ask my daughter because. <laughs> you should <laughs> tell me also. Yes, yeah. I will tell you also. I need that information. I think I will think is one. Think is one, yeah. one of them, yes. Yeah. Could it help me also? <laughs> I was think it, it was me. vitamin E. <laughs> yes, also, but uh, I don't remember what was the main thing in this. Yeah. Okay. And of course, shampoo and balsam. Yeah. Like that. Because I really would like to have more hair, but. Uh, I'm getting old, getting old. <laughs> don't admit it. <laughs> we are all young. Yes. Let's think like yeah. this. Yes. I don't know, I don't know. I know that you two at least are younger than me. Hmm? I don't know about you. When? I'm the same age as they. So, eight, 87. Yeah. Yeah. These are the youngest guys here. Yeah, I'm yeah, in, I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm in different level. Tony is our pa. Yeah, I am. So <laughs> grandfather. From which year? I'm 40. So you are 40. 14. Yeah, uh, yeah but I'm uh, yes. 40. <laughs> I'm 40. 80, 80, 83, 84. 84. Yeah. And you are 90. 90. So you are no, the baby. Yeah. 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 yeah, you are the baby. He's our baby. You are not uh, not part of the 80s. <laughs> We, we are uh, judging you now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Strongly. Shame, Shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on you. <laughs> <laughs> you should be older. Yes. Try. Try, Try to, to be, be older. older. Yeah. Come on. It's not the part. <laughs> you are you not just trying need, enough. You just need to complain about some pain and things like yes. this. It will yeah. come. Yeah. Yeah. It will come. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Anyone else want to say something about the air? You have uh, are those dreadlocks? Yeah. Yeah. So how much time? 
do you, what, what do you need to do with um, of course I have to take care of those in sometimes with hairdresser because they are growing of course and uh, showering but not that much as they guys have to do because um, drying this hair is taking so much time so it's not wise thing to wash them all the time because they're going to get bad shape or, yeah yeah shortly now i know it's biotin biotin yes okay. i checked <laughs> but uh, since we are running out of time let's go and talk about uh, the most important thing pizza okay. oh yeah so uh, what is your favorite pizza? Um, my favorite pizza is... I've been taking that in Heinola, in Pizza Corner. And the name of the pizza is Devil at Coats. <laughs> but the combination is a perfect. There's a three best things what you can have in any meal. There's a chicken, goat cheese, and the devil's sauce. <laughs> Out. <laughs> Gold <Gold-sized. laughs> one. Yeah. For me, uh, pepperoni tuna works always, but maybe the best and mind blowing pizza was like own homemade uh, Caesar salad pizza. Okay. Yeah. Normal uh, tomato sauce, uh, good cheese, and then you make like homemade Caesar salad, all, all the sauce, and put it on top of it. it. It was super good, delicious. My all time favorite must be Mexicana, so it has uh, pepperoni, jalapeno, and pineapple. <laughs> I don't think I have a favorite pizza, but if you have lots of cheese on it... Dimu burger? Yes, Dimu <laughs> burger, Dimu burger but if you have lots of cheese on it, I like it. I don't know either. Uh, I, I really like the duya. I had to... Is it duya? Duya. Duya. Duya, yeah. That's good. And uh, I've had interesting pizza in Malmi, Helsinki. It's the... Burger, burger pizza, where you have fries on top of the pizza. <laughs> so, Actually, in Italy is uh, uh, like French fries pizza. It's okay. Something yeah. that mostly children yeah. get because so they eat something at least. <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of adults also. I'm young. I'm children. And, baby, uh, baby. Yeah. 80s kids. Yeah. Used to to eat that uh, a lot. So. Yeah. Okay, that's why I love yeah. it. But uh, there is something that you should know if you go to Italy and want to, and you order pepperoni pizza, you are getting uh, paprika pizza. Really? Okay. Yeah. Because pepperoni uh, yeah, means yeah, paprika. Pro. Okay. If you yeah. want like, like the sal- salam, salam, you, yeah. you ask for sal- salam. But for me, it's uh, tasty and point pepperoni, the meat, and salami, total different things. So. Yeah, it, it comes from the America. I don't, I don't know why, yeah. but uh, it's interesting. Uh, I have a question left from the previous guest, uh, and uh, this is about the pizza. I know the, the answer beforehand, but I have to ask, so have you ever tried pineapple pizza? <laughs> have we ever tried? Yeah. I think you know the answer. <laughs> yeah, I know because you always were like, we yes, pineapple, <laughs> pineapple goes to pizza. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not yeah. judging you. I'm not judging. That's why we can say it out loud. That it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Caesar salad pizza with pineapple. But now it's uh, time for you to leave uh, one question. Who is the one that uh, that has a fast uh, question coming out for the next guest? The uh, question goes like, if and why? <laughs> if and why, yeah. without nothing specific. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's interesting. Let, let's see what the next guest will answer to this. <laughs> but uh, we are at the end of this episode. Thank you so much for joining me Thank and you. having the pizza. And um, well, would you like to say something uh, to people that are uh, watching? Go listen to Kabe.
Uh, yeah, important. and uh, share it to, to your friends, buy the albums, <laughs> go, come to the shows and uh, bang your head off. That's good. And eat the pizza. Eat the pizza, yeah. of course. What kind of, of pizza? pizza? No, only, only pineapple. No, no, <laughs> lots of pizza eat, with pineapple. Eat, eat pineapple. Only, pineapple. only cheese, good pizzas. Only, only good, good pizzas. pizzas. Yeah. The one that you want. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. Eat those. Thank you.